My name is Sergio Da Silva. I fight currently for CFFC. I'm fighting October 31st, Halloween. I'm fighting Matt Lozano. I feel like training here at Long Island MMA, you know, every day, not only in between fights, but just coming in here and learning. I improve every, every single day. I train at Vito Shaolin BJJ in the city, and I train at Sitan Muay Thai in um, Queens, and strength and conditioning in the city at Peak Performance. I feel it's a great fight. Matt's an experienced guy. He's fought some really uh, tough guys in the past. Um, he's had some losses where you know he was doing well in the fight and just got caught. He fought some veterans of the sport, and I'm looking forward to a good fight. Like in the in the past, I used to go. I used to have a, a set game plan. I used to put something in my head. And I've had uh, bad experiences where like, if I wasn't able to implement that strategy, it kind of frustrated me and it kind of left me a little lost. So now I just worry about you know, being better everywhere. And wh whatever happens, happens. You know, I, sometimes you don't have control of the fight. You, know, you can go in, you can break your hand in the first round. And you know, I'm going to keep fighting. So I try to go in there and just do my best. I know where, I, you know, where I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable you know, and I know where, where I have to take my opponent. Cutting weight, everyone knows that. Especially 125, for me that's miserable. Um, favorite part is just improving every day, coming here and training. I love training, you know, I'd fight for free. You know, I, I don't, everyone knows that, you know, obviously everyone wants to make it to the UFC and that's the, the ultimate plan. And I would, you know, I know I'm gonna make it. There's not a matter of uh, if, it's a matter of when. But my main thing is just, I just love, I love to compete, I love to train, I love to fight. It's my favorite part. Um, I mean, no disrespect to anyone, but just other, mostly guys I train with, you know, like uh, Marcus Galvão from uh, Bellator, Ben which everyone knows I have a really close connection to him. And you know, I, I respect every fighter, but like look up to, I'm only guys I train with. You know, Dennis Bermudez, Chris Wade, those are the guys I look up to. I think the level in jiu-jitsu is probably at its highest right now. I think guys are starting to respect submissions a lot more, especially like uh, leg locks, heel hooks. You start seeing them a lot more in, uh, in MMA now. I think if you're not if you're not training jiu-jitsu, like before you could get away with it, you know, guys are just defending stuff. Now I feel like they want to learn, you know, how to actually attack. You see a lot of wrestlers doing submissions now. Yeah, I think this is a big fight. I think uh, Matt Matt Lozano is a kid that you know a lot of people don't want to fight him. I think I'm sure that they're having a hard time getting him an opponent. Um, I think he hasn't fought in a year, maybe. But uh, I know he's definitely a, a tough fight. I think that a good performance on this fight, maybe one more fight. You know, it depends on how this fight goes, but maybe one more fight. I'm, but I'm mistaken, like five and two with them. So I fought really. You know, they, they had the best flyweights in the region. I mean, I think in the country, if you, if you look at the best flyweights right now, I think CFFC has all of them. And I feel like I can, you know, I can fight with any of those guys. And I'm not, I'm not trying to think past uh, Matt, though. That's what I'm thinking about right now. You know, thank everyone who's supported me. I really want to thank CFFC. You know, they do a hell of a job. You know, they get me fights, they stay me act, you know, they keep me active and, uh, you know, they're, they're a phenomenal to deal with. I think I said this last time, love fighting for CFFC and other than the UFC, you know, I, I don't want to say I would never fight for anyone else, but, you know, I feel like this is home. I feel every time I fight for CFFC, I feel like I'm at home. Uh, my manager, Dan Migori, you know, has always been there, they're supporting me, you know. I want to thank New York Fighting for doing this interview. I want to thank um, all my supporters, everyone who's, you know, just... You might think that something little as comment on one of my pictures or like something on one of my social media that goes a long way. I want to thank all my training partners, the Long Island MMA, Visa Shaolin, um, Sitan Jim, Muay Thai, and Peak Performance, all of my coaches, all my trainers. You know, it, 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 this is a sport where a lot of people think it's an individual sport because we get in there, it's just one guy against one. But it takes so much, you know, to put that, that one together. I'm just the guy that go out there and just put in 
you know, I'm show for the world. There's so many people behind me. It's, you know, more than if it was a basketball team, you know, over 20, 50, 100 people that, you know, go into getting me prepared for a fight. And sometimes they get overlooked. So I just want to thank everyone. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my little guy, Sergio and Shayla, who's always very supportive. They come watch me train. They, you know, help me with my diet. They'll let me eat their fruit snacks. And uh, to my wife, Valerie, who helped me with my meals, uh, energy fuel as well.